Kessas, hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. I did, I sure did. I had the family over and we had Christmas dinner, kind of standard Christmas day setup as such. I got to see my cousins who I haven't seen in so long, which was so nice. And it made my Christmas basically. And of course, when you reach your 20s, you kind of get out of your teens, you don't get as many gifts stereotypically as you would get when you were younger. So I've been watching videos of like all these kids opening loads and loads of gifts. And I remember when my Christmas was like that, but most of it is from Toys R Us and I don't really want stuff like that anymore. So it's interesting how Christmas changes. But anyway, first thing I got was a watch by Radley. It's from my family friends who are going to New York with me and my parents for New Year in a few days. So I'll hopefully do a vlog of that. Make sure to look out for that. And of course, for that trip, I got a vlogging camera. It's a Sony Cybershot DSC WX500. And the reason why I bought it was for the front facing camera, for the flip screen on the front here. So when I film like this, I can see what I'm doing. I mean, I've got to try not to look at the screen, but this is way better than the camera that I normally vlog with. And it has a wider angled lens so that you can get everything in the shot because obviously a DSLR, like the one I'm filming on, you can change the lens whereas a standard vlogging camera, you can't. So that'll be really useful. And of course, I didn't buy a ridiculously expensive vlogging camera like, for example, a Canon G7X Mark II, which is what is common for vloggers these days to have because they're about 600 British pounds sterling and this one was about 240 so that's obviously far cheaper because I'm going to take this camera everywhere it's going to be well with me everywhere so I want to make sure that I have a cheaper camera so that if I break it, then I won't have to pay an extortionate amount for a new one, basically. It also came with a Manfrotto tripod, which I can use for my vlogging camera and my DSLR camera that I'm filming on now as well. So that's quite useful. One of my aunts bought me some facial type washes, scrubs. She bought me a Comfort Zone bestseller kit, which I'm excited to try out. Now, the present I've been wanting for months and months, like so long, was the Apple AirPods. They are amazing. I plan to do a review of those soon, once I use them a bit more. And I'll let you know what I think, but at the moment, so far so good. Not going to pass any opinions yet until that video, but it is something I'm really excited about because I won't be tied down by wires anymore. Now my other aunt bought me iTunes vouchers which I've already used, they're not going to be shown on camera because you know what an iTunes voucher looks like. A key ring. She also bought me two hanging ornaments a body shop set in the scent Moringa it's like a body wash body lotion set and she knows how much I use bath products so that will come in really useful one of my best friends bought me a bungee cord for my phone because when I go to concerts or anywhere that involves jumping around moving around I attach a bungee cord to my phone and I put it in my pocket so that if I jump or anything it doesn't fall out. That's really helpful, I'm so grateful for that. She also bought me a Lush Christmas set which won't be shown on camera because I already used it before Christmas because I did and I shouldn't have. Two of my favourite gifts were, strangely enough, pyjamas 
from Primark because I was running out of pyjamas. I've just had a clear out of my clothes and things. So I, it was a good time, good timing. One is like white and silver, I guess cream and silver. And it's got like a woodland scene, like butterflies, rabbits, all those adorable things. And the second pair of pyjamas is more fleecy. They say sleep under the stars on them. They're navy blue and white as you can see on the screen. I'm so happy that Madeline bought those for me because they will come in so useful, especially now that it's getting colder. Because I mostly wear shorts to bed. Another thing my parents got for me was a shirt by a brand called Disturbia, I think. And it's black and white with constellations on it. It's not showing up very well on the camera. Just have a look at it kind of online if you want to, because it's clearer. Last thing that I got for Christmas was a Rose and Rosie Varsity jacket. Now, these are brand new. They haven't been out long. They were like a pre-order kind of system ready for Christmas on the Rose and Rosie website. And I went to one of their shows back in April of this year, 2017, and I bought the t-shirt with the rainbow on it, and I wore it that much that there's a rip in the side of the sleeve. So you can imagine how much I'll wear a jacket version of that, can't you? So that's basically what I got for Christmas. Try not to keep this video too long as the YouTube market at the moment is already overly saturated. Again, I hope you had the best Christmas ever. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe, that'd be amazing. I make videos as often as I can, there's no real set schedule. But I will see you in the next video. Yes, sir.